A heartbreaking story in Indonesia this morning where the soccer world is mourning 125 fans who died in a stadium stampede in Indonesia. Now, this happened at the end of the game on Saturday after some people just ran onto the field. Officials say 32 of the dead are children. Mm. A government minister says families of those who died will be compensated. As Elizabeth Palmer reports, witnesses say the police response actually led to this disaster. The tragedy began when fans streamed onto the field, furious that their team, Arima, had lost a home game. Riot police followed and escorted one player to safety. But soon it was mayhem. Police hid out with their batons while fans attacked a police vehicle. And clouds of tear gas filled the air, even though international rules ban its use indoors. You can see a panicked crowd rushing for the exit, but not the lethal crush that followed. Just those who could still walk, helping those who couldn't to ambulances. Fans, spectators, and two police officers died, both inside the stadium and later in the hospital. Mohamed Rian Dwi Kayono got out with a broken arm. Asked how the panic began, he said it was the tear gas. Relieved families found they're injured in hospital beds. Heartbroken families waited outside the morgue. While the president of international soccer, Gianni Infantino, sent condolences. This is a dark day for football and a tragedy beyond comprehension. Comprehension is what Indonesians seek from police and soccer authorities who are promising to investigate. For CBS Mornings, I'm Elizabeth Palmer in Tokyo.